Okay, now that side is done. So you see it looks really cool and so you're just gonna keep on going around and round with with that same thing. You know what? Okay. And then I'll show you how to do the top. Okay? So, um, yeah, okay. Um so I'm just gonna keep going. And also if if you're doing a solid color, if you have like colored markers and there's some of some of the box showing through, all you can always just color on top of it. Okay, so it doesn't show through. Um now I will make my other pieces. So now the next one you're just gonna do five inches long because that is actually the right one. And also, if you have an exacto board, you see I'm cutting this, make sure that if you're trying to do five inches, then take it out to the six because this this part takes up an inch already. So just make sure you do it out to the six. Now this piece, I'll wait on that piece because that's gonna go in the middle. And if you don't have like like an exacto brand board, it doesn't matter. As long as you have some kind of measuring board or a roller to make sure that these are the right length, it doesn't matter. Now I'm kind of running out of zebra. Okay, now one more zebra. gonna do the same thing go to go to the next side oh whoops I'm on that side and then you're just gonna keep going and you don't have to do the bottom because it's gonna be sitting like this so you're not gonna see the bottom I mean you can if you want to but um, I'm not going to and there's a little bump there so it may be a little bumpy since the tissue box is like that, but it's okay. And remember, five inches may be a little bit long, so it's better to have more than less, right? So, um, so just fold it over the edge. So I do the same pattern as you did before so that it doesn't, ooh, wait, so that it doesn't, um, like overlap on the wrong color or something. Hold on, hold on. Man. And also make sure you don't do what I just did. <laughs> So, you see how that overlaps a little bit? It's going on the same print, so it doesn't matter. So this is actually really simple. You're just gonna go all the way around the box. And just keep on going. So, and then once you come to that, if it folds over, just tuck in the corners. See, just tuck in the corners and then you can fold the rest down. So then, so then it'll make a nice corner. Now you just 
It's really simple. You're just going to keep on going throughout the whole box. And look how cool that already looks. So, I'm just going to keep going. And you know what? You could even do, um, if you take the box like that and put the whole, like, roll on. Here, I'll do it up here. So, um, here, let me just do this quickly. Um, just, yeah, here. Here, so you're just going to put the whole roll on. And then, so it's easier... You could actually just take your scissors, glad I had those, um, and then just cut it off the edge. So, you don't have to measure. Or, that wasn't really working because I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife. See how easy that was to do that. I'll keep doing to do that. So it's just way simpler. You see how this side was cut off a little bit? Once I do this side, I'll just make this one a little bit longer so that it covers covers that. Especially when I also want to be careful with the sides like that, with the little tucked thing that are folded, so that you don't um, so that you cover that so it's not sticking up. You know, I like that way I just came up with. Sorry about 